Okay, today we are going to read chapter 4 from Freckle Juice. Before we begin reading, we're going to talk about what happened in the first three chapters. So we know our main character, Andrew, wanted freckles so he could look like Nikki Lane. And this way the freckles would hide any dirt if he didn't wash his face and neck. His mom wouldn't notice. So this girl, Sharon, sold him a recipe for freckle juice for 50 cents. And in chapter 3, he made the freckle juice and drank it. The freckle juice was made from a lot of disgusting things like lemon juice, olive oil, wine vinegar, an onion, and a bunch of other things. And it smelled and tasted gross. So at the end of chapter 3, Andrew wasn't feeling too good. So let's read chapter 4 to find out what happens with Andrew. Pretty soon, something happened, all right. Andrew turned greenish and felt very sick. His stomach hurt. At four o'clock, Mrs. Marcus came home. Yoo-hoo, Andrew, where are you, she called. Andrew heard her, but he couldn't answer. He was too weak. He made a small noise. Andrew Marcus, is that you? His mother stood in the doorway of her bedroom. What are you doing in here? I told you to play outside. And why didn't you change your clothes? Didn't I say to change your clothes? Andrew made another noise. Mrs. Marcus looked at his face. Andrew, you're green. Absolutely green. Are you sick? Andrew nodded. He was afraid if he opened his mouth, he'd lose the freckle juice. What hurts, Mrs. Marcus asked, feeling his forehead. Andrew moaned and held his stomach. Oh my, appendicitis. You must have appendicitis. Okay, this is not a vocabulary word, but the word appendicitis, um, it's something you could have if the appendix, which is in the lower part of your stomach on the right side, burst, and they have to remove it. It causes very bad stomach pain. Again, that's not a vo vocabulary word. I'm just telling you what it is. I'm going to call the doctor. No, I better just drive straight to the hospital. No, I'll call the ambulance. Andrew shook his head, but his mother didn't notice. She said, don't move. I'm going into the kitchen to phone. I'll be right back. Andrew rolled around moaning. Mrs. Marcus came back to her bedroom in a hurry. Andrew Marcus, I've just seen that mess in the kitchen. Did you or did you not make something and eat it? Oh, uh oh, he forgot to clean up. Now she knew. Well, he didn't care. His stomach was killing him. Well, young man, I'm surprised at you. Surprised. Mrs. Bowers offered you milk and cookies and you refused. Then you came home and made yourself an, an I don't know what and scared me half to death thinking you had appendicitis. I always thought you were more sensible, Andrew. I just can't believe it. Andrew closed his eyes. Now, young man, you are going to bed. Andrew thought that was the best idea he'd heard in a long time. Mrs. Marcus gave him two spoonfuls of pink stuff that tasted like peppermint. Then she tucked him into bed. Maybe the freckles would come out while he was sleeping. Right now, he didn't care much if they ever came out. He hated Sharon. She'd done it on purpose, just to get his 50 cents. He'd show her. She'd be sorry someday. He drifted off to sleep. He had terrible dreams. A big green monster made him drink two quarts of freckle juice three times a day. Every time he drank it, the monster got freckles, but Andrew didn't. Andrew woke up sweaty. His stomach still felt funny. His mother gave him two more spoonfuls of that pink stuff, and he fell asleep again. The next day, Andrew stayed home from school. He only looked in the mirror once. No freckles. He wasn't surprised. At noon, he drank some hot tea. He wasn't ever going back to school. Sharon wasn't going to see him without freckles. She thought she was so great. Well, she wasn't going to get the chance to laugh at him. No, sir. But the following day, his mother woke him up and sang, Time for school. Rise and shine. Don't forget to wash your neck and behind your ears. She pulled the covers off him. I'm not going to school today, Andrew said. I'm never going to school again. He hid his head under his pillow. So I've got a school dropout in second grade. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Here are your clothes. I want to see you up and dressed before I count to 15, or you're going to take three baths a day every day for the next 10 years. 
Andrew got dressed, he ate a breakfast bun, and drank some milk, but he couldn't let Sharon get away with it. He had to do something. Okay, so the problem in this story, if we remember, is that Andrew wants freckles. Okay, now he tried a solution. So his solution was to drink the freckle juice. But did that solve his problem? Okay, so his solution was to drink freckle juice. But did that solve the problem? Did he wake up with freckles? No, it did not. So that is not the solution. It didn't work. He's got to come up with a different type of solution. So tomorrow we will read the next chapter to try to see what happens. We're also going to see what happens that Andrew just said he had to do something before he went to school. So I'm curious to see what he ends up doing. I'd like to see what we all predict about what would happen uh, to Andrew. What's he going to do to make sure that Sh Sharon does not know the freckle juice didn't work? We'll have to find out tomorrow. You're going to go answer your questions. There was no vocabulary words for this unit. I'm sorry, not for this unit, for this chapter, because I told you appendicitis was not going to be a vocabulary word. And there weren't really any words that stood out that you didn't know. So right now, I want you to just go answer the comprehension questions on this chapter. Good luck.